In this question, a ray of light passing through point 1, 2 reflects on x axis at point A and the reflected ray passes through point 5, 3. And we need to find coordinates of point A. So, let me first draw these points. The incident ray passes through point 1, 2, that is here. The reflected ray passes through point 5, 3, that is here. So, the incident ray will be like this. The reflected ray will be like this. And we know that the law of reflection says that the incident ray and the reflected ray makes equal angle with the normal to the surface. So, this angle will be equal to this angle and we know that the normal makes 90 degree angle with the surface. So, the other two angles that is this angle and this angle will also be equal. Now, both the incident ray that is this one and the reflected ray are also lines and they have some slope. If I call this angle theta, this angle will also be theta. So, the angle that reflected ray makes with positive direction of x axis is theta. So, the slope of reflected ray I can write as 10 theta. Similarly, the incident ray makes the angle with positive direction of x axis is this one and that will be pi minus theta. So, the slope of incident ray will be 10 pi minus theta that I can write as minus 10 theta. So, I have a relation between slope of incident ray and reflected ray and that relation is m i equals to minus m r. These slopes I can also write in terms of coordinates of points on these rays. So, because the incident ray passes through point 1 comma 2 and the reflected ray passes through point 5 comma 3 and if I assume coordinates of point A on the x axis as x 1 comma 0 because y coordinate will be 0 then I can write the slopes of both the rays slope of incident ray will be 2 minus 0 divided by 1 minus x 1 that is 2 divided by 1 minus x 1 the slope of reflected ray will be 3 minus 0 divided by 5 minus x 1 that is 3 divided by 5 minus x 1 and if I impose the condition for the slopes of incident and reflected ray I get 2 upon 1 minus x 1 equals to minus 3 upon 5 minus x 1. This will give me if I cross multiply 2 into 5 minus x 1 equals to minus 3 1 minus x 1 or 10 minus 2 x 1 equals to minus 3 plus 3 x 1. If I take all the values with x on the right and numerical values on left, I get 10 plus 3 equals to 3 x 1 plus 2 x 1 or 13 equals to 5 x 1 or x 1 equals to 13 by 5. So, coordinates of point A will be 13 by 5 comma 0.